Hey everyone, it's me Cynthia. I want to welcome you back to my channel. I know it's been a while since I posted a video and I do apologize for that. I have, since I last posted a video, have literally been from coast to coast. I went to California for a while and then from California I went to Maryland to um, sell a home and now I'm back in Little Elm, Texas, residing with my daughter until I move to Austin, Texas um, next month. So, but what I want to talk to you today uh, about or share with you is my experience uh, with MS and working. Um, before I retired um, in 2014, I worked for the federal government. I managed a program for the Department of Homeland Security. A job that I was very proud of, um, very rewarding job. I would tell everybody I did my part to keep the homeland secure, but also a very demanding job that um, that doesn't really go along with MS because of the stress that um, the stress that goes along with a high-level government position. When I was diagnosed in 2011, I kind of struggled with whether or not I was going to share with my supervisor um, the fact that I had MS. Um, so after maybe a year, I, I, I did decide that I would share because I wanted to request um, accommodations because of my commute. I lived in a suburb of Maryland and traveled into the District of Columbia on a daily basis uh, and and in the afternoon the fatigue that I battled um, began to take its toll on me so I decided that I needed to request reasonable accommodations I, you know if I had this dreaded disease this chronic disease that I was going to live with um, that I needed to be accommodated so that I could continue to work and, and feel like I was a valuable member of the workforce and it seems like that's when all the trouble started because to me, management was ill-equipped to deal with someone who was, um, who was living life with a chronic disease. Um, I don't know about you, but I am sick and tired of people telling me how great I look. I know, and, and, and on the one hand, it's nice to know that you don't look busted uh, and that you don't look sick but on the other hand you are still living with a disease and it affects you on a daily basis i felt that management was ill-equipped to deal with and understand what i was dealing with on a daily basis in battling um, the ms and it was the fatigue that was the biggest problem for me because every afternoon i would just be exhausted and, and not able to really function like I should at a high level. So I did the research and um, let me see, so I got my diagnosis in 2011. I retired in 2014, but I had to do it in steps. I had to first request accommodation and I was working, I requested that I work from home first two days a week and then um, I asked for four days a week. And even then just the, the the stress of dealing with the job that at a high level, or and I and I'm going to say that at any level, just having to work and be in a, be accountable to others and participate in meetings, whether it's in person or conference call or video conferences, it really kind of just takes a toll on you. So um, two days a week working from home, then I ask for four days a week working from home and then I decided to do the research on retiring on disability and what I found was that to retire on disability my pay would actually be better than if I continued to struggle and work for another four years and retire at my normal retirement date. I am uh, 54 so I've been retired um, over two years now so I retired at 52, which was great. And I tell you, it was probably the best decision that I made in terms of helping me manage this disease and my health. So I don't know where you are in your career and you know whether you're working and if you want to continue to work, that's great. But if you can retire and still live the kind of life that you want to live and not have to struggle financially, 
um, then I would recommend that you do it. It's the best thing that I did for myself now. I rest when I want to. I rarely get up before, let's say, 9. Sometimes I do. But um, what I've found is that I'm able to focus on me. I'm able to take a nap when I need to take a nap. I'm able to um, spend time with friends and family. I'm traveling. I'm doing the things that I want to do for me because every day is different. You know, today was a little bit of a struggle for some reason. The fatigue was, was more difficult than it had been. But as you know, living with MS, it can be challenging. Every day is going to be a different day. So um, if you are struggling with the decision on whether or not you're going to continue to work, uh, if you can retire on disability, I say do the research and do it. And this isn't for me Social Security disability. It is my pension. I retired a little bit early, but Social Security disability is an option as well. And for me, once I did the math, it was better for me. Um, and now I can educate others. You know, I felt like I was already educating management and... Um, teaching them about the Americans with Disability Act and um, reasonable accommodations. That was very frustrating and disappointing for me because I feel like managers, and I was a manager myself, you should know these things so that you can accommodate your employees. If you're like me, and most of us, we want to work and we want to feel like we're um, having, you know, a, 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 we have still a valuable place to go to work and that we, we are contributing in our jobs, our chosen careers, whatever it is that you might be doing, uh, it's not an easy decision to decide to retire, but it was one that I was able to very much come to terms with, and I'm at peace, and I tell you, I um, enjoy my life more now than I ever did. So um, if you have questions, you know, if you, you want some tips, some help, on how to get to that point in terms of a plan for retirement, please um, leave me a comment. You know, I can follow up with you. I'd be happy to help and share, you know, the details of how I went about it and uh, if it can be helpful for you or a family member, um, I, I, I welcome the opportunity to do that. And in fact, um, I'm gonna take a little break and then come back with another video in just a few minutes and share with you um, my plans to help others um, get to this kind of happy space that I call retirement. Uh, again, if, you, uh, if this information is helpful to you, please share, please subscribe to my channel, leave me comments, suggestions. Um, if it's not helpful, uh, I'm sorry. If you can pass it along to others that it might be, um, and as always, you know, I hope that you are doing well as you manage um, your disease and living with MS and um, just um, I wish you well. Thanks. Bye.